News right now, we're less than two weeks from Governor Bill Lee's special session on public safety for Tennessee. Sounds harmless enough, but make no mistake, this session is about guns. The Second Amendment crowd fired up. The governor even called the session in the first place. The gun control crowd angry the governor isn't going far enough. Our Zari Oates was at the National Civil Rights Museum when a statewide bus tour on gun reform kicked off just a few hours ago. The biggest takeaway was Democratic leaders urging residents all across the state of Tennessee to show up and show out in Nashville on August 21st for the beginning of that special session. Now, Governor Lee did announce the special session officially yesterday, but Democratic leaders who came out tonight weren't happy with the guidelines he said. Representative John Ray Clemens, a Democrat from Nashville. We need to protect our children. Is leading the bus tour to special session. He's hoping bipartisan gun reform legislation can pass within the governor's parameters. So it's really a double edged sword there We're, we wanted the special session, but we wanted to focus on well, what we can do to help better protect our children and our schools. He opened the door wide open on a whole number of issues um, that allows our Republican colleagues to really rush through a lot of harmful legislation that's completely unrelated to gun safety. Representative Clemens says Governor Lee was invited to tonight's event and the entire bus tour, but he didn't show. However, both state and local leaders did, like District Attorney Steve Mulroy. It is obvious that if we have competent evidence that somebody is having a mental episode or has made threats or is involved in a pattern of domestic uh, uh, violence and abuse, that law enforcement should be able to temporarily take away their weapons. And Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris. We have Tennessee General Assembly to take action, and the way we get them to take action is events like this, where all of us come together to leverage our people power. All of them hopeful to create change during the special session. If protecting our children and our schools is not our top priority, then we're failing. Well, the bus tour is headed to Jackson, Tennessee next and is expected to educate residents all across the state of Tennessee about the special session and even encourage some to show up in Nashville on August 21st if they can. At the National Civil Rights Museum, I'm Zaria Oates.